accepting it. So English mania is a turning point. Like the harnessing of electricity in our cities or the fall of the Berlin Wall, English represents hope for a better future. A future where the world has a common language to solve its common problems. Thank you very much. طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته مرحبا بكم في منبر مبادرة الباحثين السودانيين في محيط اعتصام القيادة العامة سقطت ما سقطت صابينا يديكم العافية أول برنامج حنبدأ به الليلة طوالي اللي هو برنامج نادي المخاطبة اللغة الإنجليزية نسبة الليلة الأساسة نفسهم البديل البرنامج قالوا إنه الكنداكات ما بيقدروا يشاركوا في برامج متأخرة شوية فنرحب بالأساسة المطوعين مديري النادي الأساسة فضل أساس فضل يا سعد الملك فضلوا نرحب بهم يا اخواننا ونحييهم يعني يعطيكم العافيه Hello everybody, good evening. Hello, uh, good first evening. of all, uh, thank you for being here and welcome to our English discussion group uh, in Sudanese Researchers Initiative. We're really happy today we're having you today. So we're going to discuss a topic, but we need your suggestion. First of all, we are going to take your suggestions. Uh, what is the topic that today we are going to discuss? Then we decide the topic and we are going to discuss about it, okay? This is the first one. But before that, I would like to give an opportunity for my colleague to introduce him himself. Then we will start our discussion. Uh, well, thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. Really, it is my pleasure, it is my privilege to stand in front of you to talk about something. Um, as my colleagues mentioned, that um, we need your suggestions uh, for very important topics that you think it is really very delicious to discuss about it. So, in my own uh, point of view, I think uh, I have something is called uh, disobedience. Because uh, la last week, or I mean uh, last day, I mean uh, yesterday, we are talking about how to success in, um, you know, successful uh, strike. And before that, we are talking about a lot of uh, that the disobedience it is something linked to our uh, last topics. But uh, I don't know, we need your suggestions, everybody, pull out if you see that there is a um, very a great topic that's supposed to be discussed about it. We need a essential topic which is related to our, uh, what's so-called, um, uh, for example, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, related to the, uh, the things which you are doing right here, man of uh, what in front of the headquarters. So the things that related to the last topics, the things that really it is damage uh, to what we are doing right now. So if you have any things, please hello welcome. Tell us your ideas and share up with your ideas. If you see that there's a topic that's supposed to be discussed, hello welcome and tell us. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, teacher. Uh, one of the guys said that uh, the topic would be about transparency in Sudan. Am I right? Okay, that's great. Before, um, we are going to work as a group, okay? So it, this is a teamwork. Um, all the topics that can be discussed here are relevant with what, go, what is going on in Sudan here, okay? The revolution, uh, civilian-led government. But, um, as we discuss uh, topics about uh, peace, justice, and freedom. 
and freedom. So this, these were three topics that we discussed uh, day before yesterday and last week. So yesterday I think the topic was about um, civil strike or uh, political strike or general strike. So today, as my friend suggested that, the topic could be about civil disobedience, which is linked with general strike. So what is your suggestion? So transparency, we need your ideas, okay? Education in Sudan. Education in Sudan, very good topic. Education in Sudan. Economy. Economy, okay. So if you want to talk about economy, it could be, it needs people who are a specialist in economy. So, okay, we have three topics here. We have civil disobedience, this is the first one. The second one is transparency. And the third one is education. Okay, for the guys who support civil disobedience, please up your hand. Civil disobedience. Okay, how many guys? Oh, many people want to... Okay, more than 10 people. W what about transparency? <laughs> Only one? I am alone. Okay, you're alone. What about education in Sudan? Education in Sudan. Um, how many people? Two, three, four, five. Okay, that means we are going to start discussing about civil disobedience, then we will come to the edu education, okay? Okay, that's right. So, before we start, we would like to say some warm-up, okay? Sagatat ma sagatat. Sabena. Sagatat ma sagatat. Sabena. Hattalo sagatat. Sabena. Okay, we are going to start our discussion. So, teacher, do you want to add something? Yes. Uh, it is only what I would like to mention that is, uh, feel free. Feel free. Because it is a place of uh, what so-called practice. It is not a place of showing off. It, it, it doesn't matter your English, what your English is. The matter to put out here, to stand in a stage and say everything in your mind and be back to your seats, it doesn't matter. So just what I would like to remind you that so, uh, then let the bad or negative idea to conquer your mind by saying that you are not qualified enough to speak in front of people. Just come out and say what you would like to say. And thank you. Okay, it is very good advice for English language learners. So we are all English language learners. So the first thing is that you have to have self-confidence. Whenever you are confident enough, that means you're going to express your ideas very easily. And try to break down psychological barriers like fear, uh, frustration, uh, worrying, such a kind of psychological barriers. Try to break these psychological barriers. When you do that, you're going to learn English and you're going to let your tongue free. So we have teacher Walid here, so welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Adunian. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everybody. For the people who are sitting here and for the people who are watching us right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know that tomorrow we'll have a general strike or political strike. So we've spoken before two days ago. We're gonna today continue on the same path. So our topic today is um, about civil disobedience. Okay, you're good. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm having a different idea because tomorrow we'll have a general strike. So we didn't wish we had the, I mean, the step of civil disobedience. If you'd like to speak, it is a, not a big deal, but we are on a slide. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. But uh, what, 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 because uh, we discussed about this uh, two days, right? So when we are going to speak about it, if um, we say that how to success in, um, for example, uh, uh, a strike. This is what we discussed about it last week, or I mean last day, uh, yesterday. So if we would like to continue about it, what they are going to add it for these things? What is the real added? So we need, you know, the addition of these things. So I think even uh, civilian disobedience, it is, it is linked to these things, but a little bit different. So we can let the, the, you know, the audience, so as to know the differentiate between two things, 
So as, uh, because some people they get, for example, uh, wrong way. Maybe they are make uh, some mix it between two uh, aspects. We we need to know that this, it is related to the strike. It is not big difference. So my point is, um, how is it likely to be successful? I mean, the percentage, the probability of success on uh, to go on a strike. And the second thing is. Uh, the results of strike, the effect, okay? What are the effects that we're gonna achieve from the strike? If we go on a strike, what we're gonna achieve? This is our topic, or oh, this is my point. Okay, so yesterday you started talking about general uh, strike. Uh, if the topic is not covered, I, I think we're going to continue. Uh, to because it is relevant to what will be going on um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is general strike, and after tomorrow is general strike. So we're going to continue discussing the topic general strike. So what does general strike mean, and how this general strike could be a successful one? That means if this general strike 50 percent succeeded, that means uh, what will happen? Regarding negotiation with Transitional Military Council and forces of change and freedom. So this is a topic, I think, which is very re relevant. I do agree with you, actually. Okay, Zal. So chances are open for you right now. So, yes. Chances are open for you. You are highly welcome. Chances are open for you. Come here very confidently. Try to organize your ideas and express your thoughts here. Yeah. To make it simple, what are the benefits of the general swipe? If you go on a swipe, what are we going to achieve? More demand. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, come over here, please. Yeah, come. Welcome. What's that name? Please give him a harsh love. Uh, good evening, all. Good evening. I think we have that uh, demand to get our civil authorities, I think. Huh? So that's why we are doing that strike, to get our demand, which is uh, civil authorities. Am I right? Okay, that's all. Okay. <laughs> but how? So if we're going to strike, people do not go, or they go to work, but they don't work there. So what will happen? I mean, what is the real, I mean, uh, action? I think it will uh, build up some project on the regime to just to go with us in negotiation or whatever. Uh, just to get our demand, that's, that's all. That's all. This question. Do you think that there's any obstacles may face uh, people during this general strike? Yeah. We think that uh, some people that uh, stand in between, not in, with us in here, or still with the older you, they can fail this uh, strike by provide some uh, services or keep uh, the work going on in that uh, institution or some service, uh, public service, or something like this. Okay. To overcome these obstacles, what do we need? Awareness is the main thing, I think. Okay. I keep people uh, full with the knowledge how we can success this one. Uh, and we have that second step. If they cannot uh, success, you can do civilian. What you call or with disobedience. Okay. So we have that uh, second chance. We are not worried about this one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. So tomorrow is general strike, and we wish that the response for calling uh, of uh, this declaration from Sudanese professional uh, association that they declared this uh, general strike as a tool. It is very powerful and peaceful tool uh, to fulfill the demands that you want from Transitional Military Council. 
Uh, the question that I would like to ask you right now, how much percent do you expect the success of this um, general strike? How much percent do you expect? Do you expect that 100%, 80% or 50% or zero, maybe? So the question is for you. Do you yes, welcome, welcome. Very harsh clap for him, very harsh clap. Very much. Like, according to my own vision, so like, uh, I, I'm not going to play this question, like asking another question, which is like, to it, uh, like, to which extent it's going to affect, like, journalists. So like, like journalists in the past, before like these events or before what's happening over here right now, like the one is certain about the news, the one is certain about uh, what they are going to share for us, like they are, they were bombarding us. They were given like fake news with like yellow journalists. So like most of them were following the previous regime. And until now, like uh, most of 60% of all newspapers that, that we are reading every day in our ordinary days, like uh, are still like making songs for the previous regime and for the like, I don't know what to describe it, but people who are trying to, uh, are acting like they are going to organize things over here in Sudan and trying to organize all uh, like political stuffs over here. So like, uh, I didn't accept more, uh, expect more for them. They were certain and they will never be certain. So uh, they are a part of the branch regime and so on. How, how much do you expect uh, Quite less. It's not going to affect even. Like, this is my own opinion. I'm not sure about it. I have my own vision about it. But it's not going to make a big difference for me. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. But if I ask you a question, why this disappointment? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Huh? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you have to be certain about things that you're going to expect and you have to put like certain steps and certain image about the future. So you should put all points, negative points and positive points, like... I said like not, not, a, not all of them are... So like maybe... Maybe it will affect, maybe it will success, I'm not sure, but I'm trying to express my negative feeling about journalism. Okay, here we have a general uh, a negative feeling. Uh, we need to have a positive feeling from the other side. Yeah. Okay, please welcome Mr. Abdul Aziz. Please give him a harsh love. Uh, Actually, if I go back to the question that I heard from Apresa, uh, I could say 100% we are going to achieve this, yeah, the, the strike. Why? Because, and I see so many people today, they have done, or they, you know, like, they, they, they show themselves on the media, they say that we are, we are going not to work. So, much, so many people, they consider that the strike is only for workers. No. Even for us, as we don't, we, we don't have job, tomorrow after tomorrow we are going to go there in order to have passport. So for me, I'm not going to have it tomorrow and after tomorrow. And I'm going to have it on Sunday. Why? Because I would like to support those people. Then by this way, we are going to achieve our aim. So many people, they consider that workers, they are afraid from their job. But I have made so many people, they are working, they are saying that we are not going to work because of so many people, they died. If you would like to go and work, so consider that so many people, they've been killed here, in this place exactly. And so many people, they've been killed in many territories. So from this reason, I could say that, yeah, we are going to achieve. And those people, I mean, the Meritili, I mean, Meritili Council, uh, I mean, they are going to, you know, like, to call us, come again for negotiation. And for this time, it is for our own chance. And we are going to tell them that no, for civil, government we don't need even for you to share with us because we have a greatest weapon ever for this way you know like a strike is you know like unviolence way when we are going to achieve it if we try to use a violence way we know that 2013 we fall down and that's why we don't want to use the violence and we come up with using uh unviolence way 
strike. This is what I have. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdali. But I've got some question for you. For example, the, the results of the strike. What we can achieve from uh, going on a strike? Yeah, what we are going to achieve is to, you know, like, to send a clear message that uh, the, uh, the, the military council has nothing to do with this, you know, like, governing, uh, governing us. Because this will give, you know, like, uh, uh, will give, you know, like, uh, who? Will give, uh, AB, uh, yeah, strong, yeah, will give the, the job. yeah, of course, they will never give them, you know, like, a right, or they will never give them, you know, like, the authority. They are going to, you know, like clear that we are going to have uh, A, S, B, N, C, P, no, for the S, B, A, yeah, they are going to have that authority and the clear that those people, when they say that no one go for work, no one will go. When they say that all people should stay at home, so who is the government? A military or those people? Clear that those people are governing us, but in an indirect way. Sooner or later, we are going to have it. Okay, uh, the second question. In which area the strike will affect? I get that in, uh, in everywhere. Do not just, you know, like, uh, divide, you know, like... Uh, the most important one. I mean, all Sudanese people, whenever you try just to say this the most and this the most, here you are going to affect us. And we would like to say that all of them, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdel. Thank you so much. Like uh, your enthusiasm and your positivity, he said 100% is gonna achieve, we're gonna achieve the, the results of this uh, political strike. But anyhow, we could have all the different ideas. Yeah, gentlemen, welcome. What's your name? Uh, please give Mr. Tahir a hash club, please. Uh, hello, everyone. So about uh, the political strike, if it succeeds by like sixty uh, percent or fifty percent, it will be a great like result. We know that all most of the Sudanese people are actually following the previous regime or previous uh, political part, like al -Kazan. Like, they have more than 7 million persons. So, tomorrow and after tomorrow, we might see that some of the employees are working and like doing their job normally, without doing nothing. So, the actual point of this, I guess, is showing that the military council that most of the Sudanese people are agreeing to have the right by having a civil government. Not showing, that, not showing them that uh, uh, we could stop your economic income and something like this. I, it's an idea that uh, it's very spread around here. And all most of the people thinking that uh, the strike will be only about economy and will stop the income for the government. It's not the idea. It's just showing that the Sudanese people are has had enough from having a military government or dictatorship government. So uh, if it succeeds by 60% or 70%, it will be an amazing result. So this is the only thing that I'm hoping from the political strike tomorrow. So thank you. Okay, which one? Um, do we, uh, are we minority or majority? As citizens, as citizens, we are the majority. Yet, uh, we are not all sharing the same idea. Some of us saying that, like, stop working, it will be a disaster. At the same time, they are agree with the idea of revolution, but they are not agree with stop their working. They might be afraid from losing their jobs. So this is the idea. You know, like, as I said, if it succeed by 60 or 70 percent, it will be amazing. We don't have to, uh, to get the full mark or 200 percent. Uh, it's somehow impossible. So 70 percent or 60 percent will be amazing result. Okay. 
how can uh, how can you just uh, spread the awareness among those who do not believe on the uh, ongoing on the political strike? How can we convince them? By telling them the fact, which is already known by everyone, the previous regime and the military council right now, they killed like a, ver a large number of the Sudanese citizens without no right. They are killing for their for their ruling position only. They have no right to kill anyone. So. If they convince that those people has died without reason, they have no, they they have no like, uh, you know, they had did nothing, which is wrong. So and they dead, they will be convinced that they should fight for this revolution, fight against this military cause. Thank you so much, Mr. Steyer. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I do agree with my brother. He mentioned that he said hundred percent we will succeed. He is really very, you know, uh, I think very enthusiastic for very enthusiastic for doing these things. And what I would like to mention that is that you should have to remember those whom they are past their life. They are not passing their life due to their traveling overseas, but they are passing their lives because they are defending our rights. We are not inferior to them. We are not better than them. We should have to, you know, don't make a, like a, such a betrayal things. We should have to show our loyalty and fidelity to them. Uh, what I would like to say that uh, I hear from Sudanese professional unity, they say there's more than 50 hundreds that are involved, more than 50 uh, hundreds, uh, what's so called, uh, you see, more than 50 hundreds, they involved to the uh, civil uh, what so called strikes. That means more than 50 hundreds and uh, 200 of them, they are governmental sectors. They are governmental sectors. That means we are success, no doubt, except a little bit of people like, uh, you know, Sadiq al he said clearly he will not agree with this. And a lot of people, they know that he is very old person. This revelation for, for use, he is outdated. So he not affect us anymore, if he agree with us or not. So we should have to be very enthusiastic for our things. And thank you. Hello, welcome. The time is open and the door is open for everybody. Okay, thank you very much. Good ideas. So just we need your sharings of thoughts, uh, your thoughts. Uh, just come here and express your thoughts. And uh, the declaration of um, general strike was very successful, in my opinion. Um, it was declared before three days ago. And uh, right now, if you open up any kind of uh, social media that you have, the announcements are really much... Um, that means there is response from, from the people. But uh, we don't have to forget there is something called counter-revolution. The counter-revolutions, they are trying to do their best. So as to fail uh, this, um, you know, the general strike. We have to be very careful. And we have seen guys uh, who were NCP um, members, they protested against, you know, civil disobedience and general strike. They are trying to do their best. People like, uh, you know, newspaper editors and writers like uh, Al-Hindi -Al and others, they're talking about, you know, the failure of uh, general strike tomorrow and after tomorrow. But this uh, kind of wishful, wishful, let's say, thinking, we, we, we do hope that the general strike tomorrow and after tomorrow will be 100% uh, successful. That's what we wish for. So we need your sharings of ideas. Come here and participate with us. So thank you very much. Chances are open for you. Yes. Okay, uh, again, so what are the benefits of uh, ongoing on uh, political strike? What we can achieve? Uh, the benefit that we're going to achieve from uh, applying general strike or political strike. So what are the results? 
Okay, sorry. Uh, just, uh, I want to, un uh, I would like to answer this question uh, by saying that since we came here in the 6th of uh, April that, that time, uh, our demand was really very clear. We need civilian-led government. So this is the uh, willpower of Sudanese people. We need civilian-led government. Uh, when we have this uh, civilian-led government, um, the world is going to recognize um, civilian-led government, that means there is consequences and results that American government is going to lift sanctions against Sudanese uh, people and Sudanese uh, country of Sudan. So our purpose right now, there is protest, there is uh, ideas like civil disobedience. Uh, why? Because we want a civil-led government. But uh, Transitional Military Council, every day, just going around in a very vacuum circle, um, try to delay time so as to uh, get us so tired and go back home on something like that. But our revolution is not like that. Our revolution, um, revolutionaries right now here are very aware that we, our demands are very clear. But I think that one of the peaceful uh, tools, peaceful and powerful tools that we can use is the civil disobedience and general strike. So, um, that's our wants and our demands. Let me just ask you some questions over here. So, in which area the political swag is going to affect? Okay, economy, a political, okay, which area? Um, I think uh, one of the uh, difficult and hard thing is that Sudanese people are going to lose a lot of stuff during these two days, tomorrow and after tomorrow. For example, a patient goes to the hospital and the doctor is not there. That means yeah, they should have to have some patient for just for two days. Uh, that means there, there should be economic consequences and uh, also uh, there should be maybe some people might suffer from some health problems and they will, be, they will not be, uh, uh, let's say, electricity, water or something like that. So people should have to be very patient tomorrow and after tomorrow. So these are the consequences that we are going to have. But these consequences only for, for, for two days. Sudanese people suffer for 30 years. What about only two days? You have to be patient. Some people say, oh, doctors are not in hospital. Teachers are not in schools. So how are we going to get service? So they have to be patient. Okay, I'm going to reply for you. So they don't care. They don't care. I mean, the TMC do not care if you're going to die or not okay they don't care so if people even uh, are dying so they let them die so they don't care they don't give you the civil government um, I think that um, we have to be very logical that when uh, general strike succeeded maybe 70 percent 50 percent this success will lead to um, a very turning point in regarding negotiations so negotiation the, let's say forces of uh, change and freedom, they're asking for um, representation of military in the supreme, in the supreme uh, leadership or uh, what it sometimes is called is like, um, um, it's called uh, the last point, we have three councils. The first council is um, uh, parliament um, or um, uh, cabinet and then you have represent, representation in um, the la legislative council, this is the first one, and then the cabinet, and the last one is sovereignty council. Um, our demands are really very clear that we need um, a total control of civilian to this council with representation of uh, military people. So. I think by using like uh, general strikes and civil disobedience, we are going to fulfill our demands. There is no way for them. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdelman. Thank you so much. For the people who've just come, we're talking about how can we, uh, uh, what we're gonna achieve from uh, going on a swike, okay? So chances are here, Mr. Abdelaziz, yeah. Welcome again. Uh, all right, I will have uh, the question that you asked from that brother. So what the benefit of the strike tomorrow and after tomorrow? Then we know that uh, the negotiation that had happened before between 
uh, military council and uh, SBA. So they based on manipulation. So once we succeed tomorrow and after tomorrow, then those people they are not they are no longer to manipulate for us. They are going to say yes, and they are going to say yeah. We are going to give you everything that you need. This the greatest benefit that for the strike. Okay. My question is still here. Why are uh, are they going to say yes? Because you know, like whole people are with us, and they are just only you know like three or four people belong to them, and the majority, you know, like citizens, and that's why they are going to say yes. They are going to go for whom? Citizens, right? So all all people they do they do not you know like agree with them. They disagree with them. Okay. Now we don't agree, and they are not giving us the civil government. Then we are going to fight. We are not going to sleep. We are going to fight it to have our own right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, again, once again, what we gonna achieve from the political strike, Mr. James? Welcome. So, uh, hi, audience. Good evening. All right, uh, we're still pursuing the same topic of yesterday, but we are going to look at, at the different perspective due to the time. Uh, we are not going to implement all the political strike or general strike because we have alternatives, as we spoke about yesterday. If we did succeed only 70% or 80%, we're going to pursue on the civil disobedience because all this because of what? We would like to prove that we have the legitimacy or the rights of running the country. The SPA has got all the mobs, all the crowds, all the nation under one umbrella to run the state, to have civil country, democratic country, which provides us freedom, liberty, peace, and justice for every citizen. This is what we are looking for. But we would never allow to militiamen, as I spoke yesterday, to run us or to govern us. Because we did demonstrate previously or earlier at the beginning of the revolution because of the military system. We would never like remove system and we bring another system, the same system. As we say that in Arabic we cannot take Kadisa and bring another Kadisa, right? So we never play the same game. So we, this one supposed to be ours. And we have freedom to vote, freedom to choose, freedom to speak. To have the four freedoms, as Winston Churchill said in the, you know, after the Second World War, like four freedoms: freedom of transportation, freedom of speech, freedom of choosing your religion, doctrine, a uh, doctrine, and uh, freedom of dogma, freedom of choosing who is who's supposed to govern you as president or as representative of the country, and choosing who is going to run or manage all the issues and resources of the state. Because we have to have someone who is qualified en enough in certain domain. Anybody who's qualified in certain domains is supposed to run, run that domain. Because we had previously things like mismanaged. Like you're a doctor, you're going to be Minister of Defense. You're an engineer, you're going to be Minister of Health. This was all upside down. That's why we are looking to have civil government, specialized, knows the politics, knows how to run the affairs of the country internally and externally as well. Therefore, we need to stand together, stay together, to work on the general strike and political strike, to raise awareness and to proceed. This is what I think about the general. Uh, we need to have face other different faces, I guess, for females. Uh, we are going to have Miss Bashir and Miss Nihar are going to participate for five minutes. So we are waiting for them. So we'll give the mic to Miss Okay, uh, um, now I've got the chance to ask you again. So in which area that uh, the strike will affect? Uh, if we said economically, yeah, it does influence the economy itself, revenues and all the as aspects. Because uh, we work on the strike, we don't want any cash flow to be, you know, money. You don't, you go to work, but you don't work actually to produce anything to, or to give money. We don't want to get benefits economically. But the point is not about the economy, because the TMC is supported by Saudi Arabia and Emirates, which means they have dollars, they have a lot of money. All Sudanese money is nothing to them. Therefore, they don't care. But the point is, we would like to unite the country, we would like to unite the nation under one umbrella, which is Sudan. If all people are united, 
and they won a Brenda, which is noble goal for their country. And they know that they have one goal only to pursue, then they will be united and they will have the legitimacy, the legality of the issue itself. Legally, we are the people and we choose who is supposed to run us. Not the government, or I mean, not the militiamen or not the army whatsoever. Uh, we cannot say army simply because the, the percentage of army is too low. The majority are from the rapid support forces, which means Kama City. Yeah. Then they are like 80%. And they don't, they're not well educated, they're not sophisticated. They don't know what is state, what is country, what is citizen, what is citizenship. They don't know anything. So they have to stay in the borders and we will train them and we'll manage them to be okay with us later on, not now. But for time being, we have to work on this. Thank you so much. Nothing has been left. Can I have other chances? Yeah? Okay, for the people who've just come, we're talking about what we're gonna achieve from going on strike. The consequences of the strike. What do you think? Do we are gonna affect? Yeah. Are we gonna affect? Yeah. Are you sleepy? Okay. Freedom, peace, and justice. Freedom, peace, and justice. Freedom, peace, and justice. No, no, higher, higher. Freedom, peace, and justice. I don't hear. Freedom, peace, and justice. 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 Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. Do you hear me? Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. Civil government. I think then what? Okay, really, thank you very much. Uh, the question is, I would like to ask you a very direct question. Um, are you striking tomorrow? Are you striking tomorrow? Why are you going to strike? Yeah, these are two questions. Are you striking tomorrow? Okay, thank you. Chance is yours. Very hard club for him. Very hard club. That's great. Uh, thank you for everyone. I'm, I'm so happy to meet you once again. So I'm striking tomorrow because this is my right. And yes, and this is the only strong way from that can bring me my right in peaceful way. That feeble uh, disobedience, it is the one that can collapse the dictatorship in peaceful way. So this is the good concept which is being shown by the Sudanese activities or what you call, I don't know. So it is the good way that uh, can facilitate us the way to get our right peacefully and with a strong feeling. So uh, I don't want to speak anymore because uh, I'm coming so far away and I'm very close. So and I will bring the chance for my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, just I would like to ask you a follow-up question. Uh, do you think that Transitional Military Council tomorrow will, um, after civil uh, general strike, will respond to our demands? Do you think that? Exactly. Because this is the strong weapon that ever that we're going to use it. This is the strong, might be, this is like, uh, like, like the, someone who bombing the country with a nuclear weapon. So this is like that. This is the most strongest, strongest than a weapon. So this is the only way that you and me and everybody else can bring to him as right perfectly without any uh, side problems and maybe. So I hope for everyone in Sudan, especially those who work in uh, governmental um, uh, infrastructures and so, will keep the promise of the new Sudan because this is the your right and this is the only way that can make you to feel strong and to take your right strongly and you are feeling proud at the same time and uh, thank you thank you for your patience thank you thank you All right. uh, thank you very much indeed 
So, uh, as we know, the, the you know the um, the military consulate they they have uh, mania or obsessions by saying that they have authority to cover all people. For example, uh, do you think there's any obstacles will face the people tomorrow for general strike? Is there any obstacles may face people? And if is, uh, what's your what's your I mean expectation for? Uh, that you are going to, to treat with uh, such a things. So if there is, how could we treat them? What is the possible treating? So as to treat them to get from uh, such a, you know, cataclysm. Uh, how welcome, the time is open for everybody. Yeah, welcome. Uh, hello, good evening. Uh, really uh, so glad to be standing in front of you and uh, from now I'm ready and uh, I'm going to strike tomorrow, okay? A hundred percent that I'm sure our strike is going to take place and we are going to be successful uh, in our uh, strike. Uh, and mainly the question has been mentioned before uh, uh, from Mr. Walid that uh, in which area uh, the strike is going to take uh, place or be effective? I think. You know, this, if we need to have a successful strike, then the institution is the place where will support us. Uh, and from, from them, the strike will be successful because they are belong to the uh, governmental, uh, okay? They are governmental. And so they, if they strike, that means 70% uh, uh, we are going to, okay, uh, have a successful strike. And then the 30% will be from us. A civilian who are not having uh, okay who, who are not employed okay and for those who are taking okay cash under the tables I give you a message okay if you never strike tomorrow but and after uh, tomorrow and then if we win and our strike is being successful then I don't know where you are going to escape okay because your faces are everywhere, in social media, in YouTube, okay? In everywhere, your faces are there. Uh, where are you going to go, okay? Are you going to, okay, then again, lay down under the tables? Or if there's some, are there some people are going to come and protect you? I don't think so. And for the military council, okay? Don't you, see, don't you think that the power which you will have is more than the power of the gun that you have, okay? In order to lead us and paying under the table for the for, for some people or certain people, I don't think they are people because they are outdated. They are no longer beneficial, okay? If they are here or if they if they are with us or without us, they will never do something beneficial. They will never add something to our, okay, to our uh, generation or our uh, coming civil government, okay? They are, I think, I consider them, they are outdated, because they are, they, they are dismissed, okay? Displaced, okay? They, they are nothing. Because if you are really a Sudanese person, and really you support civilian government, you wouldn't have to do that. Because a strike is a legal right for everyone, and no one is going to prevent you only yourself. You choose. This is my my message for all those for, for all those for all those who never want to participate in the in tomorrow's strike and after tomorrow's strike. And for Sadiq and Mahdi, you know, we consider you a no man. You are just a woman, a coward. You know, really. Because what you are saying is not logical even, and it's not remarkable, it's not considered as words. I think what you are saying is just a kind of music we hear and this will support us more in order to be more and this will make our strike successful more than you think it will not be successful. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. We don't care who is Sarik Mahdi or forever okay this will not i mean affect us as we stand uh, as only one man so this is the problem and this is the issue we should stand all together and then we're gonna succeed uh,
All right. If I ask a question, just how old is Sadiq Al Mahadi? Seventy? Ninety? Ninety? Almost one century, right? So he's outdated. I told you yesterday. We are the new generation, all right? So we don't need to have somebody who reach age of senile. You know, when your grandma is 90 years old or 80 years old, she's going to bring things like out of her mind, right? It's normal. So we don't even say Sadiq al is like a woman, because woman is a blessing. Woman is a queen and women are our moms. We don't compare Sadiq al to women. You understand? We have women is a holy persona in our society and our community. This revolution should be based or mainly for women, not for men even. Because 75% were Kandakat. The queens of the state. And now I want you to give the women a very warm clap, please, from this state. Because they did revolt, they did fight, they did take every stand, they did demonstrate and manifest, manifested their power, challenging the bullets and the bombano or tear gas until they go to jails and they liberated the state from the regime of al-Bashir. And we need to be very grateful for all of them. Therefore, we need to focus on the main issue. And we need to we need not to focus on Sadiq al-Mahdi or whatever so. We don't like to focus with the political parties. For time being, the lesson is what? One nation. The lesson is Sudan. The lesson is no tribe, no political party, no any ideology. All of us, women, men, children, uh, whatever so, your orientation, your political orientation, your gender, it doesn't matter. The issue is one country, one goal, which is to have civil government. And after that, we will see what will happen next. You know why the TMC, they do not want to us to have civil government? Because most of them, they are criminals. They committed crimes against humanity, they killed, they murdered, they tortured, they did everything. That's why they are scared to give us a power, because we are going to judge them and sentence them in the prisons. That's why they don't want to give us a power. But however, we are going to get the power. By the easy way or the hard way. The choice is not theirs. The choice is ours. We are the people. We choose which way. And we chose already the peaceful manner. And the peaceful manner is the best way. As Gandhi said, you have to fight your enemies by the weapon which they do not like. And the weapon which they do not like is the peaceful manner. They want us to be violent so they can have the justification to fight us or to kill you without any justifications. But we are here to have the reason to be peaceful, peaceful till the end. And this means what? Victory or death. To die as a martyr or to live as a free citizen with all rights and dignity preserved to you and to your country. And from this stage, we're asking all the uh, ladies and sisters around us here to join us in the club to, to send the message to the world that we are not only men are talking. Because this revolution is not for men. You understand what I'm saying, right? This revolution made for all of us. For our sisters, our moms, and everybody. And this revolution is not only about the government. It's about to, to emancipate our minds from the mental slavery, as Bob Marley mentioned. Yeah. So you need, you need to emancipate your mentalities. You, know, you need to know how to think and how to treat your sister at home, how to treat your mom, how to react when they talk to you. You need to respect others' rights, other duties. You don't need to judge others how they wear, how they talk, or whatever they worship. You understand me? So all this, it has to do with the revolution and general strike, the main point itself. So we need to focus on these things. I will give the chance to Mr. Wadi. Yeah, I think uh, women here are going on a strike, right? So we're going to break that strike by having a lady over here. Miss Nihal, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Just a word, a word and you go. Even one word, it doesn't matter. No a word, just we need a word. Only one word. They are, they are going on a strike. <laughs> From a speaker, what? Okay, uh, again, for the people who've just come, we're talking about the political strike. Uh, what are the uh, benefits from going on strike? Yeah. Once again, welcome Mr. Tahir. Please give him a hard clap. I 
actually have a lot of things to say, but it's not that easy to speak in English. So, uh, what is the benefits that we get by this gun or this try? I guess, according to my point of view, it's only one benefit. We are showing, we are showing like the military council that we are united. This is the whole idea. It's not about the economic. It's not about like uh, the people not doing their job. Telling them that we are united is the main point. It's not only about uh, the people who are working or the employees. It's about this, uh, the citizen, the citizens themselves. Like uh, if you have something to be done in those two days, you have to delay it for the coming days. At the first point, you you have to convince everyone to sh to participate in this strike. Uh, this is the first thing, and the, the other comments that I have uh, about, like, what will happen in hospitals? Okay, the doctors will never stop caring about the emergency case which is coming in those two days. So if there is someone who comes with a gunshot, the doctors will never say that we are striving, so we'll, we will never, like, uh, heal him or uh, help him to be good. So this is the idea, like the emergency cases, that the, the, more, the main important things that it will affect in the life of the citizens will never stop, even in the, in the, in the civil disobedience, not only the general strike. So this is all I have about this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you a lot. Uh, previously I said, feel free. Feel free, come out to the stage, even mention one word, it doesn't matter, and get back to your seats. It is as a matter of speaks, it is as a matter of practice, it is not as a matter of showing off. It is, we don't, we don't care if you are speak English fluently or not. We need your idea, we need your thoughts, we need your enthusiasm, we need your, I mean that, you see, how you feel about the generous rights. Tell us about it. Even by rocking, croaky, and very evil words, you are speak. It doesn't matter. So just feel free and come out. The time is open for you guys. Shut up. Who is going to be next speaker? Yeah. Talk it. So, you see, by the way, uh, I'm not so happy with some ladies. So why are you shame? Why are you feel shame? So this is your place. It is the way that you can express your ideas. So maybe this is the fourth time when I came here this today. So but I never saw the lady who came and speak in front of people here. For what you shame? So you have to come and show because this is your right. Okay? Tomorrow, you are going to sit in the same place, okay, to dress people and whatever. And I wish all ladies will decide this. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to give the mic for Mr. Uh, Khalid. Please give him a hash club. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, all of you. Uh, what I'd like to mention is uh, uh, I'm really bad there from those people uh, from outside of uh, the place of uh, strike or what we call that or something or, or, or of the sitting in so uh, those people think that we are only the people who are making these problems in this country the only people who are uh, making the, 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 the wheel of developing stop and we don't care about the, 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 what we call it, the, the development in this country, in general. And uh, I only have a message for those. Uh, if we don't care about the, the, the development and the improving this country, we will never do this. We have lost so many lives. We have lost so many people. People whom are care about, people that we love. So uh, all what we do in here is for the sake of our upcoming generation, even if that would never happen in our time. 
in the mean life or in the mean time. I guess this is all what I have right now. Thank you so much. Mr. Americano, have you completed distributions? <laughs> You've completed. Now you are ready to speak. Welcome. Now welcome. Okay. Yeah. What, do you, what are the consequences of uh, going on a strike? Uh, the most beautiful word is strike. I heard it yesterday. <laughs> I would like to thank uh, those great people about their efforts. And uh, I would like to send a message for all the people that want to learn the English language that just target such places. To get the word, you will find the vocabulary and you will find an opportunity to practice it. And you will find people use it in a different ways. So this is the meaning of the real discussion. Uh, so the strike. I love this word and I, do, I told you that. I want to be in the strike and I want to participate with the people, but I'm jobless. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm jobless, but I will be striking. Or, what a shit. Uh, yeah, I will go in the strike. It's not excuse though. Yeah, as you know. Wait, what you go to strike? So, I will let the opportunity and I will collect things. Okay, if you can. Um, I saw you distributing some papers. What are written there? Yes. Uh, the enlightenment to the people that are about the strike, telling them that what does it mean, the depreciations and... This is the most beautiful thing in this kind of collaboration in this area. And just giving the information to the people, sharing that everything that you want them to participate with you because we feel that as we are, as one hand and as one nation, more than ever before, we need to keep this kind of soul and the soul of participation, generosity, harmony, all beautiful words that just to stop and stand here in the area of El Riyadh. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I was about to ask you what we're gonna uh, have from applying or going on a swipe, but you said that to be as one nation. So that's it. Thank you so much. Um, thank you guys for participants. Really very good points. Um, tomorrow we are going to strike, and after tomorrow, we are going to strike. So, uh, a strike, as we said that, it's a very powerful and peaceful tool that we can use. And since very long time, we have been using different kind of peaceful tools so as to achieve our goal. So what is our goal? Our goal is to, uh, to have uh, civilian-led government. Why do we want civilian-led government? Because we want implementation of the slogans that we had um, peace, justice, and freedom. So um, that means that we have to very, very, um, you know, we have to be very careful that um, there is something called counter revolution, and they are working very hard so as to uh, fail to tomorrow's plan. And tomorrow's plan is a strike, so general strike. People post things, uh, fake news about, you know. Uh, today, people talking, uh, are talking about, you know, uh, Sadiq Mahdi said or something like that. This is a kind of, you know, um, you know, kind of destruction. People do not have to uh, care a lot about, you know, Sadiq Mahdi. Instead, people should care a lot about, you know, uh, civil disobedience and general strike. So, uh, I think there is a lot of participation from private companies and government companies and institutions. So our strike, we do expect that 100% um, or 80% is going to be successful. But the success, the success of the strike depends highly upon, upon us. That means I'm really very thankful that some guys, you know, distributing cards to the people. And I have seen guys uh, with my own eyes that on the street calling people, okay, tomorrow is a strike and a strike. So, but I would like to ask you a very clear question that um, what about obstacles that to, tomorrow people will face? Because as we heard from the uh, vice, vice uh, president of uh, Transitional Military Council, he threatened people that if you strike, you're going to stay home. Okay? What do you expect that the guys maybe 
uh, maybe cut short of uh, their work or employee employment. What is your solution about those people? People are working in companies, whether private or uh, government companies. What about if their lives is cut short? What are we going to do as revolutionaries? Yes. Chances are open for you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. We spoke about this yesterday, I guess. And like we said that many of the workers, as the vice president of the TMC went to the airport and he spoke to them, providing them three months salary and giving them incentives, but they refused and they said what? Civil! You understand? They said Madania. They said we don't need money. They got bribed. But the point is not about now. It's about later on. That's why citizens are very conscious and awareful enough not to receive any money from any person or whatsoever. They are ready to sacrifice with whatever they have, whatever the jobs are, to pursue the revolution, to let it succeed. That's why people are very awareful. We don't need any alternatives. We're not here to get jobs, man, guys. Listen to me. We are in revolution case. Exceptional case. We are not in era of development. Not, we don't get money even to get developed. We're eating from pocket to mouth only. That's why people are awareful enough. All of us have jobs. Even if you get discontinued or you get dismissed from your work, you have to sacrifice. You have to go on a, on a strike. This is what you have to do. Uh, we are about to finish. I would like to announce uh, to the audience, because most of you here are here to learn English or to participate or to practice. Uh, in next episodes, uh, we are going to uh, dedicate like 20 minutes, providing you with terms and explanations in Arabic. I guess we didn't know how to translate those terms. And we are going to have, tomorrow, we are going to have Ms. Bashair and Ms. Nihal in the session beside Walid. So we are going to have ladies who are going to speak, because gentlemen here, they said they are uh, arguing that we don't have the participation of ladies. Uh, they will be speaking, and we are going to speak about the three terms, freedom, justice, and peace. peace. We, we want you to understand what are the explanation of those three terms. Because you don't just say justice, freedom, peace, and you don't know the meaning of those words. You understand me? You have to have justifications. That's why we'll have them. Uh, give Mr. Hatchins. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Just, I want to reply to that man who said, why you feel ashamed? It's not about feeling shy or ashamed, but standing in front of people makes everyone nervous, right? Uh, so I was waiting for my friend. We, sh we should not talk. Ladies should not talk, I guess. No, no, no. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. So, no, no. Okay, yeah. a woman brought a revolution. Why is this? Yes, right. Yes, so as I told you, talking in front of people makes everyone nervous. So I was waiting for my friend, Bashair, and actually I'm still uh, waiting for her in order to participate together. But I promise you in the coming days, I will not say tomorrow directly, but in the coming days, we are going to lead one of those English clubs, inshallah. Okay? Thanks. And thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Mihal, and thank you all of you. Before we sum up, just I'd like to mention some things. Um, firstly, uh, in the term of um, uh, consequences of the general strike. So it is not about the current days, or the current situation. It is about the intermediate and long-term period. Okay, It is going to make us all united. It is not about today. If we just unite together, this is the issue. One day we're going to have the civil government. The second thing is, uh, tomorrow, inshallah, we're going to have uh, um, some, some uh, discussion or uh, chance to have grammatical mistakes and even explaining uh, some terms, as Mr. James said over here. So try to be here as well as you can. And as we always say, and as Abraham Lincoln once said, the world will let him know, no long remember what we say here. But it can never forget what we did here. That this day shall not have died in vain. That this nation shall have a new path of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Tomorrow, at the same time. Good night. Thank you. 
Hello guys, I'm sorry for coming late. I shouldn't be at that time. Uh, but as my friends mentioned, we're gonna meet again tomorrow at the same time, nine o'clock. And we're gonna have, um, I promise you, one more long uh, discussion. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Meet you tomorrow. Thank you.